Yes, sir. Another episode. Random makes a podcast. We back in the building. It's your boy Ampa Veli, Mr. Jake, my co-host. Man, how you feeling today? <laughs> I can't complain, my brother. I can't complain. Beautiful Saturday morning. You probably can't tell. Cause I got a hoodie on. Everybody else got on tees, but it's funny. It's a nice floor today. Normally, I'm the chilly one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little. Yeah, a little chilly today, man. I said I had to throw the hoodie on, man. <laughs> but anyway, man, let's cut all the chitty chatter, man. This is a special episode, man. I'm really excited for this one. This one been about a money to make it, man. Yes, sir. Sure. So, man, we got like I'm to be honest, man. He the hottest designer to me in the city. Talk to him. Talk got, to him. Got home, the homie Los, man. What they do, y'all? What's good, yeah, bro? Yeah, sir. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the peoples, man. Hey, man. Um, my name is Carlos, man. I'm straight out of the east side of Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a designer and love what I do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, for everybody that's wondering, everything that he got on today is designed by Everybody himself him. yes sir you can uh find it in his collection for sure the vintage florida uh a and i'm gonna have to grab me one sir got to <laughs> got to this is actually the first uh hbcu shirt i done made with the brand so okay yeah you know i gotta start with fam you so yes sir tell that's like my second home so. there it is yeah. yeah so um let me derail it a little bit with that with that particular shirt or just in general, are you going to do more HBCUs or are you just going to stick, stick it to fam? You only. Nah, I got to go all the way. So, you know, I want to get the people's opinion. I'm going to ask them. But, yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to do different HBCUs. Yeah, you got to get BCC in there, all that. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, but sir. I feel like. EWC, yeah. I feel like, EW, yeah. yeah. Fam, E-Dub is a must. <laughs> yeah, E-Dub a must. Got Even to. though EWC is in Jacksonville, I feel like fam, you is like the Jacksonville HBCU. Got like, 100%. 80% of the. Black people from like in general go to fam you so it's just like exactly. that's just like the Jacksonville. It's a lot more history, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of history. A lot of history. A lot of history. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember for a second everybody was just saying like, oh, whatever school you went to, that's just like the high school. I mean, like the college version of that high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, example, like Lowe's, you went to Wolfson. Well, we all went to Wolfson. Everybody was saying like Wolfson is. Pretty much, I mean, fam, you was like Wilson, Wilson College, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Yeah, basically, basically. Yeah, yeah, but it's like uh, even with Reigns, like a lot of people from Reigns end up going to fam, you straight up, and like, yep. and it's just fam, yeah. you just it's in it's in that bloodline. One hundred percent. Yeah, like my mom was in the March of one hundred. So okay, that's yeah, my, my uncle went to fam, yeah. was in the uh, March of one hundred. Yeah, got a lot of family <laughs> went to fam, you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. So uh, let's get more into your story, man. So you say you're from the east side. Usually, man, me and Joe, we be tallying up. He from the south side. I rep the north side, so we 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 uh we ain't get a tally today. <laughs> so uh, what was what was your upbringing like on the east side? Uh, and it was just like, man, we moved out east. Uh, we moved out east probably like seventh grade when I was in seventh grade. So. Mm. And it was just different because we moved from the north. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I stayed on the north, but when we moved out east, it was like a whole other world, man. Man, that's Jackson. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> For sure. Yeah, but out east was just like, man, it just family, man. The east side just family. And uh, like, even going back to my grandma growing up out east. So we always, I went to church out east. Right. So the east side was just always there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when we moved out there, man, it was just. They still embraced us, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no easy run, but right, right. Yeah, but they embraced us, you know what I'm saying? So it's real family out there. And we just, you know what I'm saying, everything just came together out there. So let me ask this. Um, at what age were you when you started to to want to design and, and think about, you know, fashion as a as a career choice? Uh I would say like middle school. Okay. You know what I'm Around like 13, 14. That's when I started like really going into like um shopping places and just looking at clothes and be like man i i look at it like man i i change that like i start looking at clothes differently yeah like some people like man i like it how it is i want to wear that but when i start looking at clothes i was like man, i would have changed that you know what i'm saying <laughs> i would have did it this way i would have did that color weight, you know what i'm saying right. so i just started looking at clothes different you know what i'm saying but even when i was young it was just like growing up man i was just always infatuated with fashion and sneakers yeah. you know what i'm saying so i always gravitated toward was I the only one that used to have like sneakers and like draw sneakers and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, that's how I started with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my brother does that today. My youngest brother, and uh, I always found that interesting that it it, it still carries on uh, yeah. in the way it does. But what were some of your your inspirations when it comes to fashion, whether it be brands or even designers? Um, I'm sure the designers came later, but yeah, yeah, they came later. Uh, like the first. People like that made me really look at fashion. Like just growing up, like you say, watching like uh, TV shows, 
um, music videos, like, you know what I'm saying, Martin, mm -hmm. of course, Martin, Will Smith, yeah. you know what I'm saying, A Different World, you know what I'm saying, looking at Dwayne and Ron, and, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just looking at different styles, like, I didn't even understand it, but I was like, man, them boys, man, that's raw. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah the way they putting it yeah, together. Yeah, <laughs> them boys dead raw, you know what I'm saying, I like how they doing that. Yeah. Yeah, so I gravitated toward, like, man, I want to get that, man. Uh, even then, I was looking at clothes like that, like, man, I would still wear like this, though, this raw, but I would right. change, I would change yeah. that and wear it like this. <laughs> Man, but yeah, that was like my inspirations and yeah, stuff like that. Like Tommy Hill figure, all that growing up. You knew the names, like you right, know, right. You had Carl Kanai, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Looking at music videos, so all of that stuff played a role. So even Dapper Dan, like 100. You know even when I was younger, I was hearing about Dapper Dan and New York, and yeah, that was like the mecca of fashion. So mm -hmm. I was already listening to that kind of stuff when I was younger. All right. So yeah, so it just you know what I'm saying. All that was inspiration to me. For without sure. e without even knowing it was inspiration, like right, not even right. knowing, I'm, I really got a passion for it because it was just so natural to me to like it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, but yeah, yeah. So let me ask you also, Loshi. Let's go back to your neighborhood. How much? Uh, how much does your neighborhood mean to the to your brand? Man, it mean a lot, man. Um, because man, they support me so much. Like you know what I'm saying, and I and, and they embrace me for something that they saw in me too. Right. Um, and I, and I didn't even know that until I started my brand. You know what I'm saying? To people really start telling me like, man, Carlos, man, we're not even surprised that you going down this lane because yeah. they saw something too. So my neighborhood saw something when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? I was always the one that wanted to be clean. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like people used to look at, like people used to uh look at me crazy because I was from out east. So you know, in fashion, we was kids. You know what I'm saying? They had dickies and all of that. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, during right. the whole neighborhood was wearing dickies. One hundred percent. I never wore a dickie a day of my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, flea market, even flea market days when mm -hmm. they was putting the things on us, man. It yep. just wasn't never me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I so you know I'm saying I ain't never wanted to wear dickies and all. I was just different, man. Yeah, I was yeah. different. I had my own style. I wanted to wear what I wanted to wear. You know? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? What made me comfortable. For so, sure. Yeah, I always had my own identity. So. so we talked a little bit before we started recording, but you bringing um, up your comfortability made me want to ask this on air. So how how important is comfortability in fashion? Man, very important. I think today we see, you know, uh, a more European style, yes. a lot more tighter Thanks. clothes, you know, smaller T-shirts, things of that sort. Um, do you feel like, we're seeing as many people getting fits off today as we did in the 90s uh and it's crazy I, I would say that i would say that <laughs> i would say that man i would say that but uh like being comfortable man that's like a big part of fashion because like you say man you can spend thousands of dollars on an outfit man but Man, deep down you like, man, this ain't even me, man. Right, I'm just trying right, to right. I'm just trying to be I'm trying to be cool. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool, but you know what I'm saying? But guess what? You don't even know. Man, other people can see that too. They mm -hmm. like, man, that ain't they ain't really you, man. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna yeah, you wanna be comfortable, man. Like don't be afraid to buy that vintage t shirt or something that's ten dollars because you might you might wear it and guess what? Man? Right. People might think that shirt costs about about a thousand dollars the way you're wearing it. Straight yeah. up. So you know what I'm saying? It's all about how you carry yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you carry yourself in your clothes. You know what I'm saying? How you carry yourself in your fashion. So yeah. being comfortable is everything. One hundred percent. That's everything. That's like Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> anybody else would have wore shirts with holes in it, they'd be like, man, that ain't nothing, man. But right, it, right. It's, how, it's how Kanye carry it. Yeah, yeah, confidence. No yeah. matter if he wearing like a, a big ass garbage bag, he yeah. got Confidence Trendy. in his yeah. that's yeah. Jay, yeah, that's Jay. You know what I'm saying? He and he always was confident. You know what I'm yeah. saying? His music and everything. He, look, you know, what I'm saying he's going a little left right now, but oh, a little left. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, but, yeah, that yeah. boy out Crazy. of bounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but with fashion, he a statement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's always confident. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that they play a bit role. And like you said, um, the European, like the European way, it's kind of taking over right now, man. For sure, yeah. for sure, it's taking over our culture right now. Like, man, like you said, with small. Small shirts and you know what I'm saying stuff. Yeah. There. Like man, we ain't come from that culture, man. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, man. So just keep it original. Man. I do original. like to see a, a a more not to say. I guess we could say it tailored look. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I do like now. a more tailored look. Uh, but folks wearing two small t-shirts and two small jeans, nah, I can't nah, get, I can't nah, get down with it. Nah. Can't get down with it. Yeah, and I, and I actually, my uh, like my clothes tailored. Like I kind of get it a little tail tailor fit. Right, you right. Know what I'm saying? Depending on what I'm making, but you know, sometimes you want the tailor fit, but you don't want it too tight. Right. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want it too tight, man. So, in your design and journey, what are some of the adversities you face? Um. Like right now, just getting the right, um, I would say, 
getting the right materials, you know what I'm saying, getting the right um uh, I'm trying to think what's what's a real big one. Yeah, I would say that, like just the quality, because I want my quality to be A1. So it's like, yeah. man, just getting the right materials and the right the right cotton and all of that kind of stuff. Like the stuff people ain't really watching, but they'll see it when they put it in their hand. Right. They'll feel it and be like, oh yeah, well, this real deal here. Like this ain't mm-hmm. no thin, you know what I'm saying? No right. flea market shirt or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's yeah, getting get with vendors that, that do that, that that's on point with that. Cause they gotta make it how I want it, man. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna get made. So when you do, you, oh my fault. No, my no, fault. Go ahead. When you do your vendors, do you like meet with them like face to face or like do you no. like outsource? Outsource, outsource. Okay. But it, it depends. Be a mind yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what you're about to ask. But sometimes, <laughs> but, sometimes, but, some, hey, but some vendors I do get to meet though. You know what I'm saying? I get mm. to meet and shake their hands and talk with them and be like, yeah, I want this. But yeah, sometimes I don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got to do it over phone and are they send me like uh like sample books? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can. I can do it that way. So, so with the sample books, are you able to like get a feel of the quality? You know, see uh, different shades, things of that sort. I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And now, how many vendors would you say that you've been through in this process? Like, is it something that <clears throat> you're constantly looking for new vendors, or is it something to where you know once you found one, you're pretty good? For those that are that are watching and that might want to start a brand for themselves or be interested in following this same path, what are what what is some advice you could give in that regard? Um, you might take some losses. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, took, I took some major losses, man. Like trying to find manufacturers and vendors, man, that that, that can do it like I want to do it. So right. I took some losses hey, with that. People don't want to hear that, man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's a part of the game. I mean, it's definitely a part of the game. So with <laughs> anything, uh any new venture that you that you try whether it's the learning phase the experimental phase you know mm-hmm. or just even testing things out you could have a, a perfect t-shirt put it in the wash and it ruins yeah. you know what i mean Thanks. so <laughs> you definitely gonna lose some money so yeah. now <laughs> when you do find it um but when i did find the right ones man i stuck with them mm-hmm. like and, um i guess because when i first started like uh this is only my second year but when i first started man i was coming back yeah so so quick you know what i'm saying they was like man yeah you know what i'm saying you, you know what i'm saying we, we like you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm like you know what i'm gonna keep them you know what i'm saying they, yeah they, yeah, they, yeah. They, and they on point you know what i'm saying but before i found them and i had to take like you said man that, that it's a curve. Yeah, boy. Yeah, you gonna take some L's, boy. Yeah, you gotta be ready for that, now. Nah. For yeah, sure. Yeah, you gonna take some L's, and like you say, man, you really can't. Another thing is, some people might be like, man, I want to use that vendor, but guess what? That vendor might not be right for your brand. Exactly. So yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, you gotta yeah. know exactly what you want to do and your, the audience you're trying to target. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know exactly where you're trying to go with your stuff. One hundred percent. Because guess what? Now you finna be a follower. You might just get that vendor. Somebody might give it to you, but man, that ain't the vendor you really need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta really find your lane. So I've heard some uh, horror stories with uh, <laughs> using outsourced vendors to where. People have gotten designs, you know, stolen or or the design was shared amongst many. Um, how do you hold go? Hold on, hold on, Joe. You know, it's a big one that nobody mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody, it would be good with the vendor, mm-hmm. but when it's time to ship, it don't make it through customs. Oh, nobody wow. brings that's that up. That's a huge. Nobody yeah, brings that up. That's that a huge yeah, that point. definitely happened. That definitely happened. And I'm going to tell you this before we even get on this part. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. Man. Make sure you trademark your logo, trademark your your, your name, because mm-hmm. without that, man, it's gonna get stolen regardless. Somebody can take it regardless. So hey, y'all y'all be on point with that, man. For don't sure. play with that trademarking, man. Yeah, you think play. that should be like the first? That's you the, think first the first thing. First, first yeah, thing. Yeah. Real quick, go ahead and <coughs> educate the people because a lot of people think trademarking is as easy as copywriting. No. And it's, it's, it's nothing similar. It's nothing no. of the sort. Not so. at all. Not at all. So uh, the trademark, I'm talking about, uh, it took me, uh, I'm just getting it, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with y'all. And it took months, man, mm-hmm. over a year just to get that, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's so important to have that, man, because, man, people can take any little thing off your logo, off your name, and and you don't want to put that work in and it's man somebody just snatch it from you like that because it can happen right you know what I'm i know somebody that happened too you know what i'm saying i saw a story recently a lady uh designed for the harlem globe trotters um a brand that was titled like undercrown something um took the exact same design and changed the words man and a lot of that going on right now like mm-hmm. man I, like you can look at uh like 
man, just candy pieces, all kinds of like logos and people just switching it up on them. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. They just switching it up. And it's hard to do it with a design because it's so many designs, man. They can change 100%. anything. Yep, like, yep. So you can say it inspired you because um, I can honestly say that. Like even with some um, designs I done made, man, it's inspired by something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not actually taking them, but you know, something, something inspired your stuff. And you can go for that. Right, right, 100%. Yeah, you can go yeah. for that. But with a design, man, it's really hard, man, because there's so many designs, man. That's not like a logo or nothing like that. So people can, they're going to take that regardless. So 100%. Yeah. Man, that's why you got to have different options, man. You got to be creative. <laughs> for you sure. Be creative, for man. Sure. So you can say, so when something, when something do, don't work out, man, don't worry about it. Man. I got something in my mind. I'm going to come up with something else. Yeah. Yep, yep. You got to be creative. That is Stay creative, good, man. That's a good fact. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people issue. Like, they make a, they'll make something. And then like it ain't really working, then they get like discouraged and they'll stop. Yeah. But like nah, you gotta keep it going. That's yeah. consistency is key. That's key, yeah. Man. We say that every time people think like, oh, that's just like uh the phrase to say, but nah, that's like legit how it is. It yeah. it really is. I mean, um, so Los, both you and I are in this uh market to where, you know, we're selling directly to our our, our audience. Mm -hmm. We don't have, you know, um, vendors to sell for us or people that that might mitigate some of the issues for us right so in that regard um it can definitely be challenging dealing with things like customs or um <coughs> any any minor setback right how do you face those challenges uh like when the saying like when the let's say let's say um your your, your shipment arrives late Let's say that, um, and I'm gonna just give a few scenarios to see, you know, in 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 your line, how are you handling these things? Shipment might arrive late. Um, you know, there might be a quality issue on some of the designs, or you realize that you're not ready to launch. All right, so check this out. So being an owner and being in control of everything, that's kind of like your advantage. Mm -hmm. So. I know that can happen, but the people don't know that can happen. You know what I'm saying? They not going to know because I'm not going to put nothing out it, unless right. it's completely A1. Until Even if it's a mess up, people will never know it's a mess up until, you know what I'm saying, until I get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to make sure everything good before I even put that put that out. So mm -hmm. the people would never know that. So that's the good thing about being the owner and being in control of stuff because that not happened to me before. I done got stuff in late, like, man, dang, I wanted to do this drop then, but, man, I'm finna just push it back. Yeah. I'm going to push it back. Cause, but when I actually get it in and it's A1, then that's when I start going forward. So right. if, if it ain't if it ain't got the, I ain't got the merch yet, if, I ain't, if it ain't A1 yet, man, I'm not even finna go start to the next barking. level. Yeah, 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 I ain't yeah, even a star barker. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even a star barker. Cause that, like I said, that's a setback. Cause it is. Now you don't put it out in the atmosphere, man. People waiting on it, but you ain't got it yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, you ain't even received it yet, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, you don't look at it and it's like, man, these ain't even right, man. <laughs> I got to I got to send these back. So yeah, yeah, man. So I would just wait until you actually get everything in this A1. So I asked yeah. that to see this. Um, when you started out, I'm sure you had a few encounters that were similar to where you might have planned everything around this release, and there was some kind of a. a even if it was a, a momentary setback, there was a lapse in time. What was it for you that, that said, I'm going to continue? I'm going to stay consistent with this. Mm -hmm. Man, good example, man. Um, when I had my pop-up, I had the first pop-up, and I had everything but the shirts. So I'm like, man, <laughs> Damn. I'm talking about being had crazy, everything yeah. but the shirts. And I had they, they made the shirts. But I had to send them back, so that took time. So I was really just sitting on it. So I'm like, man, like I was supposed to do this then. Like, man, now I gotta push this pop up back mm -hmm. and see what's going on. But um, at first I was finna drop it. Like I was like, man, you know what, man, I'm just finna sell this and man, I'm gonna just do something else. You know what I'm saying? But it was I knew, I knew that was part of the plan. I wasn't finna mess up my plan just because of one mistake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I is. knew how big that was. <laughs> um, and shout out to um, shout out to Avenue Grill because that's why I did the pop up bit. Okay, yeah, it was right in the neighborhood, and yeah. it, sold, it sold out too, man. And that's it sold what's out. Up. Yeah, the neighborhood showed up, man. People showed up, and it sold out, man. So um, I'm glad I didn't stop. You know For man? sure, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't stop, man, because I I, I I really could have stopped, man, and went to another drop. And it was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna just do this next drop, and I'll come back to this next year or something because it just went. 
like they was messing up, man. I'm like, man, I cannot get these shirts, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, stay at it, man. Stay at it. Don't let nobody stop the plan. For sure. Don't stop the plan. Don't man. let nothing stop the plan, yeah, man. Don't honestly, let nothing I stop mean... your plan, man. Keep going. Keep going, man. All right. Because you're going you to take them losses, but you know what I'm saying? You got to keep going, man. For sure, for keep sure. Going. Let's build on that a little bit. Um, So Avenue Grill, man, that's a legendary restaurant pretty much. Yeah. So how did that pop-up come about? Because you, you did it all the way, man. You said that was your first pop-up? That was my first pop-up. Avenue Grill, legendary restaurant, and then you had Frico Rico do the design. <laughs> yes, that's man. a legendary designer. Yes. So like, <laughs> yes, man. I'm a big fan of him. I love his. I'll be on his IG all the time looking at his man, like drawings. Legendary. So legendary. How did both of those come about? How did uh, that pop-up come about? At Avenue Grill, how did the Frico Rico design come about? All right, so uh, so Frico Rico, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get on him first. So uh, man, I actually like you said, man, just looked at all his work, and you know what I'm saying. I used to watch his cartoon, all kinds of stuff he used to do uh, with comics and stuff. So I'm like, man, I reached out to him on IG, and uh, actually, man, the first time I reached out to him, man, it wasn't even about the artwork. Like he a good father, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. how we link. That's how the conversation started. I'm like, man, um. Man, um, man, I like what you're doing with your art, man. But man, I appreciate what you're doing with your kids too, cause man, I'm a father. I can relate to them. I'm like, man, I'm I'm chasing my dream, and man, I got my kids and stuff like that, man. And I just love what he was doing with his kids. Like he put his kids in everything he do. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I I love that. I love that. Remind me of me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I love sure. fatherhood. That's everything to me, man. That's number one to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um. So uh, that's how we reached out. He reached back out, like, man, I man, that's what's up, man. And I appreciate it, man. Then yeah. that's how we got on the top of like, man, I want I, don't, I got something that I want you to draw for me. And um, man, we just started exchanging ideas and that that went on for a little minute, but we man, we got it right, man. <laughs> we got it right. So, man, I was like, man, this is the first pop up, man, with free go. I was like, man, no, this going, we this gotta go. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, this yeah, this, this gotta yeah, go. Sir. Like, man, I, I, I this gotta get finished. So for sure. Um, and with Avenue Grill, man, being in the same neighborhood as um, Cookie, uh, mm -hmm. that's who, uh, who over the Avenue Grill, that's who owned it. So um, me and Cookie was always, man, we linked up before this. Like, man, we was just like on some neighborhood stuff, neighborhood mm -hmm. stuff. So we was already cool, real cool. So, uh, and mutual friends, you know what I'm saying? So, um, man, we just linked up and I'm like, man, you want to do this? Because I want to do it in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I want to do it right here. Right, we need to have right. this out east, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, all the stuff that going on the east side, people hear a lot of bad stuff, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so positive to me. So I'm like, man, nah, we need to do this here. Cookie was with it. And, man, it went down. Like, we made it work. We made it work, man. That's what's we up. We made it work, man. So shout out to Cookie, man. Shout so out. I noticed that you do do a lot of um, community events. How important is that to you? Man, very important. Very important. Because when I was young... And I knew I would have jumped on this journey earlier if I saw an example. Right. I knew I would have. If I, if I was in middle school and somebody came in up talking about a clothing line and man making sneakers and man, I would have did. I would have jumped on it earlier. I would have knew off the bat, like man, I'm finna do that. Right. So, but I, we never saw it. Yeah. We never saw it. So, um, we're going to like boys' homes and you know what I'm saying and doing that, man. I can see the look on their faces when they're like, man, that's dope, man. Like, cause I would have been the same way. For sure. You know what I'm saying. So that's why, um, and that's when you start realizing, man, um, you really doing your purpose. You reaching kids, man. You reaching people younger than you, and they looking up to you. Um, cause when I, I I went to the boys' home, and that's the first time I ever did something like that. So yeah. um, they're like, man, just talk about it, and I talked about it, and, and it's just after that, man, the kids want me to sign hats and all that. So it's like, man, dang, this really, this really something, man. Like you don't know who you gonna spark in that room. Yeah, you might not spark right. all of them, but you, you, might, you might catch one boy for real. And he right. gonna take it serious. You know what I'm mm, saying? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's for all real. it takes, man. You gonna catch that one kid, man. You gonna take it serious, like boy. I'm glad this dude came. Boy, I, I want to do this. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I want to do this. Boy I might grow up and create the next Fubu. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You don't know what you're gonna spark. So straight up. Yeah. So it's very important, and you know what I'm saying. Kids, they the future. You know how that goes. They, yes, they the future. Sir. So as long as I can. Do my part with that, and you know what I'm saying, to be positive with it. And man, I'm doing my purpose, and I feel like I'm doing a good purpose. For man, sure, so for sure. That mean a lot to me, man. Well, yeah, man. Um, what is <clears throat> what is one of your favorite designs? Give us a. How did it come about? You know what I mean. What sparked the inspiration for you? Things of that sort. Uh, my logo. My logo, man. That's, hey, that's a good my one, logo. actually. My logo, cause um, man, I drew that out like man, like I know, and I'm gonna tell you how it came about. Um, cause when I had I had a clothing line before '89 Los Originals. Okay. It was called Pride Apparel. 
But um, when I did it, um, somebody else designed it. You know what I'm saying? I, get, I just told them what I wanted to do, and somebody else designed it. But um, it ended up, I kind of ended up stopping because I didn't have the resources that I needed. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like fell short. I was going through other stuff in life. You know what I'm saying? Most priorities weren't the same. So, right. man, I was like, man, this ain't it. So it kind of like just fell off. So, man, when I got back on it, Man, when I got back on, it's like, man, oh, I know what I want. I had the vision. I was like, man, it, when I make this logo, when I make this design, it's going to, you know what I'm saying, stand the test of time. I know I don't, it don't matter what what year it is, man, it's going it's gonna to stick. Right. So, man, when I made that and drew it, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Because it got that vintage look, but it's an urban look. Right. Like, it just represented me, man. It represented me, man. So, uh, for the listeners um, who might not have seen it yet, can you go ahead and describe your logo to them? Yeah, it's a triangle, man. Um, it's like a vintage triangle. You know, this. You know, that was in a lot of '90s, '80s styles. You were, you've seen triangles a lot. You know those uh, <laughs> old jumpsuits. Yes. The, uh, yes. <laughs> those uh, swish jackets. Yeah, and shit. yeah. The yeah. sweat fits, man. The sweat fits. <laughs> That's what it is. So yeah, but it also, uh, what people don't know, man, it, it, it also represents a pyramid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have to draw a pyramid on it, but right, it represents right. a pyramid too because, uh, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Ancient Africa and all of that stuff play play a role too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, 89 is the top of the pyramid where well, you can see, you know, it's usually a sun at the top of the pyramid. Right. Um, which they call Ra. That's the sun god, mm-hmm. but I switched it out and put 89. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it can oversee everything. That's the year I was born. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And um, greatest year ever. Yeah, come on, man. You oh, already oh, know. Now, 1990 yeah, 80, got something 80, to say. Man. Man. Nobody messing with 89. 90 man. got something to say. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, 90 was like the birth of, of like greatness. Yeah, you know and I don't saying? know, it's a piece of it right here, though, man. Um, and you can see the Los Originals, man. My name Carlos, so mm-hmm. I put Los. Some people call me Los. A lot of people call me Los. And Originals, man, like it's original, man. Yes, as soon as you see it, you gonna be like, man, that's original, man. Yeah. Like that's him. Like that's him. You know what I'm saying? Even when you put it on, man, you gonna feel like that. Like when you put my clothes on, man, you gonna feel like, man, this, like this serious, man. Like this ain't no, you know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing. Somebody just threw at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, man, right. Put, it's some time putting this right here, man. It's some, <laughs> it's some work putting this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, nah. Yeah, so it definitely it. shows. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. So yeah, that's the that's it. and when I came up with that, man, I just knew it was it. I said, that's it, man. That's it. Yeah, and the logo hard too, because like I know you ain't ever gonna run out of ideas, but let's say you just go through like a couple months where like I ain't really gonna drop nothing. You can just drop that logo and just flip it in another color. Yep. Change the design on it a little bit. Like put a color behind it. You could do a bunch with you that. Could, logo. You could go crazy with yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And then even going back to the nineties, like you say flipping it all kinds of ways mm-hmm. and kind of uh you know piecing it together across a jacket Thanks. a shirt things like that yeah it would it definitely is. be dope um real quick man i don't think uh we, we we almost 30 minutes in and we haven't gotten to it yet so i want to take this time to go ahead and bring up your shoes man yeah he got his own custom shoes yo we got to talk about <laughs> these man because they they hard man can we get you to lift them up yeah show man. the people oh uh, yeah oh uh, they 89 loose original sneakers man but I know a lot of people, um, they're doing a lot of stuff with the Jort 1 silhouette right now. So, man, with me, I just want to be different and, and keep that vintage style. So, man, the silhouette is actually from the Air Force 3s, you know what okay. I'm saying, with a, with a Nike SB Dunk sole. So, yeah. man, they came out dope, man. Like, this is just a sample pair, so I'm still working, man. But, you know, I'll give y'all a glimpse on them. Nah, they, man, they, they, those <laughs> yeah. shoes are amazing. They yeah, are hard man. as fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. And I love the high top, you know what I mean? Like, we don't see that often anymore today. Even Jordan yes, dropped. Man, they stopped it, yes, yeah. Man. Like, yeah. they dropped one high top a year now. Facts, like, <laughs> facts. Man, these high high top, these like Air Straight Force, Air, yeah, Air Force Command. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, above the rim. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I want, yeah, so I wanted that feeling though. So man, yeah, they gonna grab your ankles, man. So yeah. <laughs> Did you think about uh like rec ball, basketball, and such with this? Any? Definitely. You were, okay. Because I was gonna say I could see those on court for yeah, sure. Definitely, man. Definitely. Uh, David Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> man, I just want yeah to bring that feel back, <laughs> yes, man. Sir. Bring that feel back, man. So yeah, they feel like home to me, man. Yeah. So I and I know, man, y'all love them. So yeah, I know the people love them too, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so yeah. when hey, they come out, back. when they come out, I got copy for them. For sure, for sure, man. We gotta clap that up. Real quick, <laughs> for sure, <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And it's crazy, man. Like sneak when it comes to like sneaker designs, and like everybody can make T-shirts. It but takes a, a real yeah. When you when you making your own sneakers, you at another level. Yeah, 
like a yeah. real genius to make some yes, hard sneakers, yes, bro. For real, you gotta be creative, man. At 100%. any point in your life, did you ever think you gonna have your own sneaker? Never, man. Never, man. But you know what I'm saying? As I got older, man. I was like, man, anything is possible, man. When I started getting in that mindset, I'm like, man, you know what, man? I love sneakers, man. I can make a sneaker, man. I can do it now. Mm-hmm. Like, all these resources now, man, I can do it. Straight up. I can do it. So it's going to get done. Yes, sir. And, and it is done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So um, when it was time to make a sneaker, like, what made you, like, what at what point did you, like, go into development for the sneaker? Um, I would say, like, man, it took, it took a minute because, man, I had to draw it right. I had to make sure the drawing was right, the height was right. Um, just make sure the material was right. Uh, but when I went into it, like when I went, you know what I'm saying, went into it, it was still a lot of stuff I had to do, man. Because you got to make sure the vendor can really get what you trying to make come out. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like they trying to make it come to life. So you know what I'm saying? So man, it still it still had to go through some stuff, but man, we got it done. Man. So for anybody that's that's interested in following that path as well, when you were designing, was this something that you had to get digitized? Did you, you know, just send over sketches? How did that process go? Uh, sending over sketches. Okay. Yeah, sending over sketches, and um, after that, once because they they got the uh, the sketch, so they know what you what you're trying to do. But other than that, man, it's just detail. You know what I'm yeah. saying it's like how much detail you really want to put in your sneaker. Right. So all of that start playing a role. So it take man, it take time, man. It take I can time. imagine. It take time. It's different from clothes, man. One hundred. Yeah, it's different from clothes, man. So yeah, yeah, it take time, man. But, yeah, it's worth it though. It's worth it, man. Yeah, cause you don't want to drop no just like random sneakers. Nah. Somebody put it on their feet. They feet be hurting. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. Like, Lowe's, exactly. I was hooping in your shoes, yeah, yeah. bro. I broke my ankle. <laughs> yeah, man. man. Yeah. But I would kill marketing. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. I had <laughs> seen that in the and one doc. They were talking about. I don't know if y'all seen it. I caught it. I caught that. Yeah, they were talking about how they uh. How they gave the, the sneak at events or somebody. No, they gave it to Stephon Marbury. Yeah, Marbury. Marbury. Oh, yeah, yeah, Marbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was his first game, too. Yeah, first game. <laughs> tore his Achilles in the sneak. Yeah. Tore it. Messed him up. Man, I heard and he it. ain't wear him no more after that, did it? I, I think he know. uh nah. I think he ended up getting his own I mean I know he started uh the Marbury's bro. Yeah, yeah that was like later on Yeah yeah but, that was um, years after Yeah Yeah they were messed up for a while they didn't bounce back into like Vince warming the dunk contest mm-hmm. When he warmed that dunk contest that kind of brought him back yeah, I had them joints too man Yeah I did Vince oh, yeah, had, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I had them in 6th grade man I think what that was 99 yeah, 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 I think yeah. that was 90. Was yeah, it 90? I a, yeah, 99. I had a black and gray pair. I had yeah. the black and gray. I want to say I had a, a black and blue pair, if I'm not mistaken. I had the white and <laughs> blue pair, man. That's what it was. Yeah, the white we had the white uniform. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Those shits was so hard. I had them in white and red, too. What? Uh, that was the five pair. I went to Mayport. That was the so best one. That was the best yeah. one. What? That was my hooping shoes. <laughs> Bruh. White red pill so the jersey matched the shoes so hard. I was like, "Mama, thank you." Dang, the next boy, yeah, year, yeah. you know, niggas wasn't talking about and ones. <laughs> so white and red was they, they was the best pair, but it was the hardest ones to find. Yeah, Straight yeah, up, I don't even know how we got them, bro. Yeah. I can't even remember. Yeah, the white and red pill was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> that's the ones he was wearing when he was playing for the Raptors because they yeah. had like some like purple and like red jerseys. Yeah, with the pin mm-hmm. stripe. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It was the big the jumbo wrapped on them. It's funny yeah, too because uh them and ones were, if I remember correctly, affordable. Yeah, they were. They were, they they were, were really cheap. affordable. They were cheap. Yeah, they were. Especially in comparison to anything else. Yeah. My I mom was can... like, hey, we ain't getting no forces, but you can <laughs> get these air ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I got mine from uh what it was, shoe corner or something like yes, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can get the whole <laughs> fit. You know what I'm saying? Get the little air one man talking shit on your t shirt, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You can't guard me. Yeah, with the big dude, no face. He ain't had right. no face no on face. there. Yeah, no face. Yeah, yeah. Anybody could get it. She's talking about. Oh, yeah, then the t shirts with the slogans Bruh, on it. The dog, slogans, them, yeah. They had the hardest shirts to they me, did, bro. Though, they they had the hardest shirts. On, on some hoop it, on some hoop it, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And one has some raw shirts. And one might need to come back with them slogan yeah. shirts, bro. Yeah, man. Don't do no shoes, but, you know, drop them tees again. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, man. But sneakers always just played, that played a bit part, too. Like, since I was in L. Elementary school, man. That's yeah. when I started getting into sneakers, man. So, man, I got into them early, man. We was hype beats, like, man. We was young. One hundred percent. Who was your uh, influence for getting into sneakers? Man, Jordan. Okay. Man, Jordan, man. Okay. Man, Jordan, man. Michael Jordan. Even with even with fashion, a lot of people don't say Michael Jordan with fashion, but I watched Michael Jordan with fashion, like. Yeah, Michael like, Jordan had some fits. Man. He did yeah. have some what? fits, man. and then he had some jeans that just should have nah. been burned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them jeans, yeah, them jeans, a while with the uh, with the wide leg, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, he, he could have wrapped the car with them jeans. <laughs> <laughs> but Joy, yeah, Joy, man, man, we was in elementary. I mean, I had a, uh, I got a good friend named Craig, man. We was in elementary school, man. We used to get Joys, man. We'd switch our shoes, man. Word. Go to school, switch shoes, man. He have one pair, I have another pair, man. Yeah, we'd swap, yeah, yeah. swap <laughs> shoes and all that, man. But yeah, man, we was we was always hyped about Joys, man, and sneakers, yeah. man. That was just always a thing. For sure, always a thing, man. Yeah, even back to uh, going to talk about Wilson real quick. That was like the that Jordan Monday. Oh my what, god, what man? Bro. Wilson used to be. I remember oh people used to leave, leave school, man. <laughs> leave school in the middle of the week, man. To go get Air Force Ones, yeah, like yeah. man. <laughs> man, I remember them days. First I year I went to Wolfson, all I had was like forces. I I, I bought damn near every yes, pair man. of forces that came out that year, right? And um, I had never owned a pair of Jordans. My mama just, I mean. It, she couldn't afford them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She wasn't buying Jordans for three three boys, three grown boys. It's so I started working, I bought a whole bunch of forces, right? I, I uh, lived by the exchange, so I could get them for like $40, you know what I mean? Yeah. Forces galore. Nigga, my 10th grade year, I realized, yo, ain't nobody wearing, like, everybody yeah. got Jordans, you know what I'm yeah. saying? If you ain't got no Jordans. Yeah, they bruh. were swapping over, but yeah, yeah. switching over Straight fast, up. too. Because forces were getting it when you was in middle school, then oh, when yeah. high school came, they like, hey, hey man. Hey, hey you, you broke? Yeah. You yeah. Right? yeah. You weed at the crib? Like, what? you still wearing forces, bro. For real, but I love forces, though. That was, like, my first love, to be honest, bruh, though, for real. Bro. I never got rid of that love. Man, like, and forces, like, like, to be honest, like, they really making a comeback now. On the low though. I said, 100%. man, force is kind of coming back a little bit now, but 100%. that was always just an original shoe. That's like a Chuck Taylor, you know, yep. Air Force yep. One. Just like, man, they ain't never going. They ain't it's going a state. nowhere. Yeah, it's never yeah. going out of style. Yeah, they ain't going nowhere, man. They ain't going I need nowhere. them to come back with some more funky styles, though. You know what I'm Dude, saying? Man, with the colors best, and whatnot, oh, man. man. Early 2000s, man. man. Oh man, no. <laughs> I haven't best seen an Air Force one, Air Force One in a while that wowed me. I like mm -hmm. the ones they did a little off white collab. Yeah, I miss Which all one? White. I miss with the old one. They did like the off white. They did like a lime green pair. They did like a bright yellow I, the, pair. Those yeah. were hard. Those, those were hard. hard. Yeah, yeah, those were hard. You yeah, haven't seen hard. like an Air Force one that was like, oh man, this I gotta have. I yeah, gotta yeah, have yeah. This. yeah. It's hard to do it right because there's so many different varieties of sneakers now, man. Like, it's, man, yeah. they can do anything now. I think I got a, a Reebok pill, man. They made like a Ghostbuster pill. Oh, like, yeah. Man, yeah. The man. theme's crazy right now. Reebok gotta bring back the Florida Gator pumps. Like, oh, I've been looking man. for those for seven years now. <laughs> Maybe yeah. longer than that, but yeah, yeah. they had the uh, Gator e pumps. eBay, eBay. Bro, I might need I'm to keep check eBay. Out eBay, eBay yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give y'all a cheat code, man. eBay a real cheat code. For real, eBay got everything. Everything, so. man. I've been on eBay for years, man. Like, man. I go See, I got away from it as uh these newer, you know, and not that I use Poshmark, but just apps like that make shopping so much easier, yeah. even on a local level. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I kind of got away from eBay, but. Nah, you definitely proven some points. Yeah. yeah, eBay, eBay, they keep it, they keep it authentic when it comes to the vintage stuff because mm -hmm. the price is never gonna be crazy. Now, if right. you go like on a uh, one, one of these Poshmark, Grail, uh, yeah, yeah. Poshmark, one of these, no dudes gonna run them prices yeah, they up. Knock your head off. Like a vintage yeah. tee, two hundred dollars. Yep, and like that joint two dollars at the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. let me, let me yeah. go in. It might have a hole in it. Right, but, right. But let me go on eBay real quick. Put in vintage, straight up, vintage Real. Florida Marlins. Oh, they oh ten dollars bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you are gonna find you might find more than one. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, I was yeah. on eBay one time. I told uh, Aunt, we need to start wholesaling. I'm trying <laughs> to tell Marlin you, has. whole another market, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Hey, I thought about that at one time too. Straight up. Hey, and straight up. Yeah, but it's so much. With, it's so crazy with vintage stuff now, cause uh, it's a it's it's in. Yeah, like um, like a couple years ago, you can get vintage stuff for a real low price anywhere. But now, mm -hmm. man, it, that's a thing now. It's a trend now to, to, to wear vintage stuff now. Yeah, so, it's funny because uh, people used to thrift, and and you would look at them and be like, all right, well, you got your own style. You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Yep. Today, thrifting is really a a a big thing again. You yep. know what I'm saying? Not that it ever really dissipated, but like you said a few years ago it wasn't as prevalent we weren't seeing as many people in thrifted t-shirts we weren't seeing as many people thrifting period trying Thanks. to turn that into a business and things of that sort Thanks. so it's cool to see it come back Thanks, man Thanks. so um real quick like while we on the uh topic of sneakers i'm gonna say this real quick before i get into the question that silhouette 
nobody doing this silhouette that that Los doing. So yeah, for sure. if we see somebody drop it, we oh, know yeah. we know you copy. Yeah, for sure. Green ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we know we you know, copy. Man. We know he you copy it. Did fast. Green ass nigga. One all, more time, just in case you <laughs> niggas, you know. <laughs> all y'all on the Air Force One right now. Nobody doing that silhouette. So we start seeing that. We know we know where you got it from. Did Straight up. So uh, off the top of your head, man, with like too much thinking, like what's your top five favorite? Sneakers. I know that's a hard question, man. It, it ain't trying to answer. Hey, Jordan One Chicago. Okay, that, Jordan that. One Chicago was um red and white twelves. Mm. Um, oh, man, that is a hard one, man. Yeah, it's a hard question, man. Uh, Air Force One high tops. Okay, Air Force One high tops. Um, the sheets. Yeah, yeah, sheets. I love the sheets, yes, man. I love the sheets, man. I love the sheets, man. Um. Oh man, what's another one? Uh, Jordan, Jordan Seventeens. Mm, we don't hear man. that often. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm talking about yeah the mids too, not yeah. the lows. The mm. mids, man, the mids. And um, I go with the uh, the Jordan Foles, man. Okay, mm, that's Jordan my Foles. favorite right there. Jordan Foles, man. I think the Jordan Eights are probably my favorites. <laughs> The sevens or the eights, man. Like the eights were the first pair of Jordans that I ever saw, and I said, "Oh my God, what are those?" It's crazy. Like it's crazy. The, crazy. the black and gray eights. It was probably like ninety seven or my something. Favorite, like, my favorite pair of the Aqua eights. Oh, the my, Aqua that's my eights. that's my favorite pair, man. That's what I think, and that was my first pair of eights. Yeah. I think place. I hold those black and silver joints so high because I never owned a pair. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I, do. Yeah, I don't even think they did. They I don't, ever I don't think them? they retro, retro them again. Nah. Um, did they retro? Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't think. They I don't retro think the black, so. Not the black and silver. Not the black and um, gray ones. My homie, uh, my brother's friend had them when they was in high school. I'm five years younger than him, so yeah. I was in elementary school at this point. Yeah, bro. He took me to a high school game. We walking around the track, and uh, his homie had them on. Bruh, I just stopped. I'm like, yo, you got to tell me everything about this sneaker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can't miss them. You can't miss nah, them. Not the two all. straps. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you, you man. can't miss them, man. And to me, like, I can't think I love those just because, like, everything about that silhouette is so unique. Mm -hmm. It is. So unique. Like, even the side of it where it's got the... Um, the waves. Know, yeah, like, yeah, the wave, bro. Yeah. And that's just what I was about Facts. to say, like... It made me think about water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It made me think, and being in Florida, you know what I mean? So it just resonated really dope yeah. to me, so. Yeah, that's yeah. a dope sneaker, though. Even the bottom, like even the sole, man. like the bottom sole. Man, like, it man. Dog, it's yeah, hard that's as a book. dope sneaker, man. For sure, that's for sure. That's a dope sneaker, for real. Yeah, that's when they was like actually taking their time designing the sneakers. Yeah. Bro. Tinker Hatfield. Man, Tinker, Tinker went, went crazy. Yeah, Tinker went crazy yeah. on a lot of sneakers, yeah. bro. But even the fours, like, as I look through each shoe, you know what I mean? I, I try and think about where his mindset might have been yeah. and hearing him talk about some of the designs is just crazy how he saw these silhouettes yeah. in, in his inspirations you yeah. know what i mean yeah he yeah. was like yeah i wanted something aer aerodynamic yeah. so i started what? looking at cars and Jets. i'm like yeah what? yeah I'm like yo man. like panthers man they were man the 13s <laughs> made off of, off of panther man straight up straight up off of yeah. panther man i was seeing one he, he was talking about the 14s he said he was just like in italy he said he just seen like two Ferraris just pass by, and mm -hmm. he was like, "Oh, that's the 14. Yep, yep, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Come on, man. That's, that's crazy, crazy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's what I say. When you design it, sneakers, man, you a different kind of genius. Yes, you bro. a different kind of genius, man. man. I got it. and you design it, yo. I get like, you a round of applause. Another, bro. another Thank one. You. We need to add that to the board. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. But yeah, nah, definitely big kudos to you on the sneakers. I mean, even the shirts, the clothes. One thing that I do love about um, even your aesthetic, like when I go to your Instagram, mm -hmm. there's a vintage feel to that. The way that the pictures are captured, the way that, uh, and shout out to your cameraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know man. What I'm saying in the building. Um, but the way that your pictures are captured, uh, the way that you've, you know, itemized your pictures and such. Yeah definitely speaks volumes and i think it tells a lot about you with before you know people might get the chance to hear this interview or any other interviews that you may do or have done um where you're explaining a lot of this in depth so yeah yeah shout out to julius man 
Salute, Boy, salute. cameraman, he A1. He nice with it. He yes, crazy sir. with it. What's his Instagram? Crazy with it, man. Julius, what's your Instagram, man? Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Yeah. Hey, y'all go and support that, man. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I right. fuck with that name, though. Yeah, definitely, right. definitely. But, uh, I mean, I got to tell this story, though, man. Like, the spark, like, uh, that really sparked these, like, even making sneakers again, man. Mm -hmm. um, I know y'all know about Cool Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Um, yeah, so, uh, man. Before I even started this brand, man, um, and we went to Miami, uh, cause we was catching on the cool car early, man, before mm -hmm. the wave. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how I got a lot of them, cause uh, man, we caught on early. I was like, man, this dude here finna be, Something, finna be yeah. crazy. So, yeah. um, well, uh, we went to Miami and went to a pop up. So uh, I'm with my cousin. I'm with my cousin, um, G So, so um, man, we ride down there, and um, man, we had a good time. You know what I'm saying? Grab the sneakers. I got the meat car. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what you know. What I'm, I'm like, man, you don't put your stamp on this, man. You put your stamp in the game with this. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So with the clothes and all, because you know he was doing um, clothing before, mm -hmm. before the sneakers. Sneakers just took him to a, yeah. to a whole like, another level, man. I was just man. about to say that, man. I used to like yeah. his. I like one of his best like collabs he ever did. He did a collab with like Cool Whip. I got him. You got that, I got him, and then man. he did a Classics. he did like a Betty Boot fan like HBCU club. Yeah, yeah, man, crazy, man. I was, I was, I was so his mad team, I couldn't get that. Yeah, bro, his team is crazy, man. And like we went to the pop up, man. It was all his family, man. Oh, working the dough, yeah. working the 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 the, the cash register, that's man. Amazing, all man. them was family, man. Yeah. So it's dope how he did all of that. But that's what sparked me. I'm like, man. But when I get back, man, I'm finna get on it, man. Like mm -hmm. this dude made it seem it, it, it's possible, man. Right, it's possible. Now I remember on me and my cousin, man. On a ride back from Miami, man, I talk, man, we talk about this all the time, man, because I was like, man, bro, I'm finna get back and do this, bro. Like, I'm finna get on it. You know what I'm saying? That's That was the spark, to be honest. Like, man, <laughs> when I came back, man, I did that. You know what I'm saying? I just got to work and just get, kept moving. Started 89 Lewis Originals and kept it moving, but that was the spark, like, man, because he let me see it. I'm like, man, I'm just watching. I'm like, man, well, this can be done, boy. Straight up. This can be done. I'm going to put my touch on it, though. I'm, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm finna put on this, you know what I'm saying, and do it my way, you know what I'm saying, but it it was like a spark that I forget, man, I was just hungry, man, like I'm hungry now, I'm still hungry, like it just put a fire in me, like man, like I can do this, man, this is my passion, you know what I'm saying, so I'm going to keep going with it, Yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying, so when I got back, man, we had a long talk, <laughs> me and my cousin Jesus, we just talking about it, man, so it just, you know what I'm saying, it's good to see, just to see what's going on right now, man, just to see what it came from, so, and it's still growing, so, you know, I'm just humble, man, and grateful, and thankful, you know what I'm saying, thankful to God, man, for everything. For sure. You know what I'm saying, because the brand was made, you know what I'm saying, out of, I tell people all the time, man, like, I was going through a point in life where, you know what I'm saying, stuff just wasn't, it wasn't going right. So, you know what I'm saying? You know how that go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You go back to with your passion. You know what I'm saying? You go back to what making, you know what I'm saying? What you love to do for real. All right. And it just bring, you know what I'm saying? Like, God just know what he be doing, man. He know yeah. what he be doing. He don't make no mistakes. At all. He don't make, no, don't mistakes. make no mistakes at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But follow your dreams, man. You'll never know where it's going to take you. Yeah, that's you know dope. And you, see, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you said you had that other brand. The other brand didn't even work out. You said, man, I'm about to come back. Yeah. And, I bet, and I bet you. I bet that other brand helped out because you knew what not to do this exactly. time. Exactly, I knew exactly what not to do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? and you still gonna make mistakes, but I knew how to. I knew what I knew. What I wanted what I wanted to take it this time. Yes, sir. I knew. I knew. I knew what time it was. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it definitely helped me when I failed the first time because I knew, like you say, man, I knew what not to do. One so, thing I always preach is there is no loss. You know what I mean? When you pursuing something that you love, something a passion of any sort, there is no loss, only a lesson. You 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 might spend a lot of money, but man, if you are a hustler for one, that's something I wholeheartedly believe. But two, if you just got drive, you'll get that money back. Big face. If you if you are really putting your passion into it, if you really putting your heart into things, come back tenfold. Yeah, and, and you ain't even got to be a hustler. It's gonna come to you if it's Straight a passion. Up. Like it. you ain't no hustler. It. It's just the fact that you got a passion for it. You ain't finna stop. Right. Yeah. You ain't finna if stop. You might you. slow down. You might, but you ain't finna. You ain't finna lay down. You ain't right. gonna lay down. And mm -hmm. I was always around hustlers. Know what I'm saying? Yes, so that sir. that helped me too. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? I'm and I'm around my brother. Around man, I'm around hustlers all day. Yeah. All day, so you yeah. know what I'm saying. So There's I knew what time it was. Yeah, you yeah. gotta know that. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. Gotta know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm around hustlers all the time. Grew up around hustlers, so yeah. you know what I'm saying. That's part of the DNA too. It's part of the blueprint. Yeah, sir. So. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, all of that fall into place. All of that's in the brand too, man. It's just the drive, though, man. But it, all, all, all together, it's just the passion, man. 
For you got sure. a passion for something, man. It's gonna go. Yes, sir. You ain't finna start. You ain't finna lay down for nobody. All right. You ain't laying down for nobody, man. You gonna You're keep right. pushing. Like you, you preaching out here, man. I wish hey, I had, yeah, wish I had some church going. music. <laughs> One time for uh, Los, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So uh, let me ask you, like, before you you caught on, because you said Cool Cow was your inspiration. I'm to be honest, brother. You you there. One hundred percent. Before people, before people caught on, like, what was your some of your first supporters? Um, man, uh, uh, to be honest, my family, like, my circle support me, man. They crazy. Like yeah. my circle, like you know, some people like, man, your family ain't gonna support you. The strangers gonna support you. <laughs> my answer man, no, nah, man, my circle supported me. Like my brother, my man, everybody, my family, everybody supported me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody supported me, man. You know That's what I'm saying? What's up. Everybody supported me, man. Um, but before it caught on, like even the dope boys, like you know what I'm saying, they was wearing that stuff. Like I was in the, they was looking at me like, man, you the next uh Virgil and all this. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like Freedom Boys too, though, man. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? But when you know what I'm saying, before that, they they looked at me like Gucci. Yeah, they was already buying them buying my varsity jackets for a certain. You know what I'm saying? Four mm-hmm. five hundred dollars. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And that's from the jump. So you yeah. know, people ain't just gonna be spending no money like that. With no, on so, a new they, brand, so, yeah. so they saw something in me too. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That was my first supporters. You know what I'm saying? Before it hit Instagram and all of that, man, it was the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? It was you friends and family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. So yeah, man. That's just how I went. Just That's important. Went, man. It's re- very important, man. Make sure your circle supports you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? They ain't support For you, sure. man. You better, hey, you better get on. Straight up. Straight <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of celebs don't wore your brand. So at what point? Did you see like some see like somebody wear your clothes and like damn, I'm there, I'm I'm it's up right now. Um, what, yeah, like what which, which particular one? Uh, man, I'm gonna tell you, uh, Papa Papa like family though, man. Yeah, you know all us from the neighborhood. <coughs> uh, man, a shout out to uh, City man. Yeah, City Hendricks. Yeah, City Hendricks, man. Yes, hey, man, he doing this thing right now. Both of them, him and Papa. Yeah, yeah, he definitely, definitely, man. But City Hendricks, man. Um, one of my memories with him, like my first time meeting him. Was uh at the uh the Yo Gotti um video shoot. Okay. So yeah. man, I came in uh I came in uh they like man you can go in the house man go in the house and I'm trying to get I'm trying to get something to Gotti you know yeah. what I'm saying I'm trying to get some merch to Gotti so and I come there with a, a handful of it you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. so you know what I'm saying just off the love so uh so man I, I meet Seti in the back. Oh, um, and Sean, he like, man, that's the new stuff right there, man. I hand it to him, man. He take all what he got on immediately. You know, said it, <laughs> said it, man. That's a fashion statement yeah, walking up, up, man. You know up. what I'm saying? Said he just, oh, he, he just, man, he different, man. Yeah. He yeah. different, man. So I already knew his energy when I when I first saw him. But, man, immediately he just took out whatever he had on, man. Nah, man, I'm putting that on now. You that's know what hard. I'm saying? And hooked him up, man. And he wore that, he wore that whole day, man. I was like, but that's a real one there, boy. Yeah, that's love. That's a real one there, man. That's love. Yeah, man, but, yeah. So, that, that meant a lot, man. That meant a lot to me, man. That's dope. Were you able to get uh, Gotti to close? Yeah, yeah, I did. I yeah, did. I remember seeing the picture. Yeah, I was like, going to say, I saw that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Gotti brother, too, man. Because that's who, uh, yeah, gave, gave it to him and linked up with him, too, man. You know what I'm saying? He real good dude. Real good dude, man. So That's dope. Yeah, man. It worked out how it worked out, man. It worked out. I feel like it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, some other stuff, too, coming. But yeah. It's all in the words, man. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, always yeah. feel it, man. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it, man. Just being patient, though. For sure. Being patient to keep moving. It's going to come how it come. That's it. That's it. Trust yeah. God. You yeah. know what I mean? Got to. <laughs> Got to. So let me ask you, uh, what do you like to hear most about your brand from the people? Uh, Quality. Quality. Quality, man. It ain't nothing like when they get it. You know what I'm saying? When they finally to get them, they get it. And put it yeah. <laughs> when they put it in their hands, they like, man, hold on, man. Hey, what that? <laughs> it's cool to hear yeah. people say, like, that's dope. Uh, you know, it looks good, shit like that, when they see a picture. But when they actually have it in their hands and they're telling you their honest opinions in the moment, like, while I can touch it, while I can, you know, show it off and things of that sort, I definitely think it resonates a lot more, you know. It, uh, it goes a lot further once the uh, item has been received. <laughs> yeah, facts. facts <laughs> For man. sure. So that's, that's yeah, that's, that's one of the big things, man. I love that because there's so much work that go behind it, man. It's so much, like, that people don't see. Yeah, you know 100%. Yeah, there's so much that people don't see, man. Just 
And I take it so uh so serious and my my daughter be like, Man, she be like, Man, you live you taking care of them clothes like that, like it's your baby or something, man. You know what I'm saying? But man, that's something you create. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Man, you created yep. that. So you gotta appreciate it. You gotta it. appreciate it. Yeah, man. You made something from nothing for real. They started up here. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? That's important. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, you did something, man. You did something special. So yeah, man. The quality, man. I love when people talk about the quality, man. For sure, because that's what's gonna take you a long. That's way. gonna take it. Yeah, I was just about to say that's gonna take it a long. It's way. gonna separate you. That's, what, that's the line. That's what's gonna separate you. Yeah, because you don't want to sell a t-shirt to somebody for seventy dollars and they wash it one time. And it's just it's like, over. Yeah, it's over. All right, rip. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying it's so thin. You know what I'm saying you can't rub against nothing. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's over, man. Yeah. So that's 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 a big thing, man. I like when the people talk about the quality, man. Yeah. yeah. I love, they talk about the designs too, but the quality, man. I, I pay attention to that. I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. so, so nobody uh talk about this that much, and nobody really think about it when it comes to the clothing line. But like the most important part to me is the designs and whatnot. So, how did you go about your designs? Do you like you just hop on Photoshop? What do you draw it? Like, how do you do your designs? Uh, Photoshop. I done did Photoshop before. Um, got on there and just learned it. Go on YouTube and learn <laughs> learn some stuff. And YouTube Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but some um, like I say, sometimes inspiration. Like I might be watching a show or something and be like, man, dang, what? Yeah, I'm gonna remix that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I look at colors, like certain color schemes and stuff like that. Like on the designs and be like, man, that's '90s light. That's '80s light. Like man, that's a dope color there. You know what I'm saying? Right, and I right. try to just put my put my look on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of a lot of designs, not all of them, but most of them inspiration. Like I look at old shirts, old '70s shirts, '80s shirts, '90s shirts, and be like, man, nah, I'm gonna flip that. Yeah. Same thing I was telling y'all I was doing. I was like when I was younger. That's how I look at clothes. Like that's an inspiration to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. sometimes and sometimes you just got stuff in your head, just being creative. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just using your creativity. Right, you be like, man, damn, you know what? I'm gonna try something because it's scary sometimes because you don't know if people gonna like your design. Mm. You might do it and be like, damn, and I don't know if people gonna like this, but you just, hey, man, if, it, if, it's, good, <laughs> if it's good to you, man, you need hey, to, hey, that's it, yeah, 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 Wet, put that shit on, put it on, <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, yeah. So you gotta take chances, man. It's like it's crucial, man, because you know what I'm saying? Everything might not pop, for real, <laughs> for real, everything and might some not things pop. might just take a little longer to pop, so yeah. Trust in the vision for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I know sometimes like you probably get a new fan and it'd be something you draw like a long ass time ago. I bet they hit you up like, man, can I draw it again? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I hit them with, and it's so crazy because, uh, man, I always tell people, I'm like, man, that's what keep me creative because I don't redo nothing. Yeah. I don't redo nothing, man. So yeah. everything I have ever dropped, I think I, um, I think I probably restart one thing. That's before Instagram and all of that. That's yeah. when I first started. I hear that. So yeah, but man, it keep me creative. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Like you don't want to get in the, in the mode of man. I'm gonna keep doing this because it's selling. Because people don't get tired of it. They're like, man, nah, man, you know, 100. Like, you keep doing the same. Like, like you gotta. Have have something different now, you know. So you can't keep can't keep playing with us mm-hmm. like that. Now the people gonna catch on <laughs> straight up. So straight yeah, man. Up. So man, most of the stuff I just drop it like one time. Or I do like one colorway. You know what I'm saying? If you miss it, you miss it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you gotta be on point. Yeah, you gotta be on point. So that keep me creative. Like man, I know I can't do that colorway again. So man, you gotta keep them juices going. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get right. Yeah, I keep you on your toes. Yeah, keep you on sure. your toes. Yeah, keep you on your toes, man. What do you think about like designers that do like the pre-order type style where they like they show like a picture of the shirt and then like oh you gotta wait uh <laughs> so and so months to get it <laughs> uh what you call it man I'm gonna drop brand name uh you know Warren Lottos Lottos he do like the skull tees and like the he do like a bunch of All with the big, with like the big faces on it yeah like he did like the Kobe shirt where like he was like Kobe was, like a skeleton. Is his name Warren? I'll pull him up. Yeah, yeah, you gotta let me check. You gotta let me see him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Man, yeah. you said it take months for the pre order? I I bought a shirt from him. I bought two shirts. He did a uh he did a Sixers one. That's crucial though, man. And he did a he did a rocket. <laughs> he did a rocket. Yeah, what? I be, yeah. No lie. I ain't get the shirt for like five months. No, man. I can't go for that. How you feel? Yeah, a lot of people doing that now. Dang, that's crucial. Yeah, I seen them type of shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, a lot that's of, too long, man. And they expensive, like both they tees. Expensive as fuck. I paid one hundred and ten for the T E T. And a lot of people doing that. How do you feel about that? Because it's like 
I feel like that's killing the game, but I'll let you speak on it because you were actual designer. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, man, I ain't going to let, man, I can't do that, man. I ain't going to let you wait that long because I know how I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, man, I done paid this much money, man. I need that. You know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I need that. Like, Bro. But that, that go back to what I was telling y'all too. Like, man, I'm not even going to put it out like that till I got it, man. Straight up. Until I got it. It's good to see, like, you know what I'm saying? People like snippets, like putting little snippets out there. But when mm-hmm. you, let, you start saying, like, man, you can go and buy it now, too. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. people really want that right now. Yeah. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they can't tell you through the internet. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Just straight they, up. They spending that money, man. They like, <laughs> they hey, want bro, it I, I really want this shirt right now, though. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I, I hear what you're saying, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, want this, I want this shirt, man. Once they spend that money, though, nothing else matters. No, don't matter. You could, your house could catch fire. Hey, when you yeah. going to be able to send them tees? Yeah, so, <laughs> I ain't knocking it, though, hey, man. Hey, straight up, straight up. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Just me, just me thinking of how I would be, man. Just thinking yeah. of the people, man. I'm like, man, they want these shirts now, man. So it, I won't let you wait that long. Now. If right. it's a week or two or something like that, that's yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? Like, but nah, <laughs> four five months. Yeah, that's so crucial, though, man. Yeah. That's crucial, though, man. This is a question for everybody: What's the longest y'all wait for some clothes? Longest. Man, it, got, it can't. I ain't go got past. a lick of patience personally. So yeah, if no, I can't, it, it yeah. can't go past no three weeks, bro. I, like I, I just feel. got into uh, online shopping like two years ago. Yeah, being real, you know what I'm saying? What? Like 100. percent And I've been online shopping for years. The now, only man. like prior to this, the only time I would online shop would be like if I was just casually shopping in yeah. the sense like let me check to see what this site has today kind yeah. of thing you know what i'm saying but if i couldn't pay for it and go and pick it up at night or yeah. you know what i'm saying like get it tomorrow kind of thing i i, I sh- shot away you know what i'm yeah, saying so yeah. I, i'm still new to <laughs> yeah i've been yeah. online shopping since high school yeah me too uh, me too bro i remember karma loop and all loop. that yeah, yeah yeah i probably caught one t-shirt off karma loop and when i had to wait for shipping <laughs> and it wasn't nothing it don't was like bad. a week I was like, nah, bro. Karma loop, boy. Karma loop. Throwback. 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 Hold on. Ooh. This is a real throwback. I don't know if y'all remember this. Digital Gravel. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's a throwback Digital right Gravel, there. Digital uh, Gravel, Dr. J's. I don't know if y'all Dr. Dr. J's. J's Come man. on, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. But you hit with Karma Loop, though, but Karma yeah, Loop yeah. was that fire. Yeah. Karma Loop, boy, you used to have me up uh, at night. Uh, stayed like, on hey, them. man, I need TND. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even hear that brand no more. <laughs> throwback. Karma loop. I remember that. I remember that, man. Nah, you be in the checkout. You like, hold up. I need that twenty percent off code. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go grab something else. Yeah, let me go grab. Let me run it up one time. Let me run it up one time. Straight up. Yeah, that's throwback, though, man. Yeah, a lot done changed, though, man. A lot yes, has changed. Uh, yes, man. Uh, a lot has changed, man. How do you feel about it, though? Do you like the uh, direct to consumer um, shopping, like with Instagram and uh, a lot more? social events popping up today like i feel like growing up we didn't have any, as many social events to where you know you could go and and shop essentially almost every weekend yeah you know today i feel like whether it's i have to travel an hour 30 minutes whatever the case you have somewhere you can go and pull up to a vendor uh like vendor event every week today Mm-hmm. when it comes to fashion and, and even entertainment in some regards but um <clears throat> do you feel like it's better today being able to sell using instagram facebook uh social sites like that opposed to trying to utilize websites uh, like a more traditional um service let me say yeah yeah um like i say i i kind of like it how it is now man because there's more outlets now mm-hmm. right? and it's quicker you know what I'm saying? It's quicker to do like online and all of that stuff, but it's still cool to meet people and, you know what I'm saying? Like do meetups, like oh, I say that all the time. Like even though I got a website, man, it's cool to meet up with, um, meet up with some of your customers sometimes. Yeah. You know, sure, hand yeah. to hand exchange, yeah. For cause, sure. Cause they get to tell you stuff, you know what I'm saying? They give you opinions, stuff that you can take back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, it work out that way, but I, you know what I'm saying? I like, to be honest, I like, I like the internet better, man. I like how they doing it now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's real. It's more outlets, like you said, more events to do stuff. Like you got the black market mm-hmm. um, that they be having. Um, you can walk up and shop everywhere and do yep. that kind of stuff. So man, it, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of different outlets with it now, man. It makes it a lot more accessible. Yeah, for sure. yeah, definitely. and that's that's a good thing. Definitely. 
But uh, you definitely said something like having those one-on-one experiences. So when I sell rugs from time to time for people that are local, you know, I always give them the option to come up to the studio and pick up the rug. And man, I've gotten some of the best stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got some good laughs. Like it'd be days I'm slaving in here. Somebody come and pick up a rug at 930 at night and they tell me a story or a joke or something. Thanks. And man, it made everything else yeah. just, you know what I mean? Like I forgot about the day. You yeah, know? yeah, for real, man. <laughs> They're going to tell you everything, man. 100%. They're you give you a person everything. time to talk. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty, plenty of days, man. I'm like, man, let me go drop this shirt off. And then I go, I think it's going to be a quick rap, man. I come back like 30 minutes later, man. <laughs> I mean, I man my wife's like, man, you come back later, man. I'm, I'm talking, man. <laughs> straight <laughs> they, up, straight you know, they, up. They telling me what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm listening. I'm For li- sure. Yeah, I'm listening, man. Yeah, so yeah, it work out like that. I like it like that, though. You definitely seem like a man of the people, so. <laughs> the people, man. The people. It works out. Joe question got me thinking, like, do you ever want to make a store? Like, have a, have, have an actual store? Yeah, I do, man. I do, man. It's going to be a Jax? Got to be. That I was going to say. Got to be, be, man. <laughs> got to be, man. Definitely a vision, man. Definitely yes, a vision. Just start out, man. Yeah. You got you to boss up, man. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, then work your way New York. You know what I mean? Yeah, (laughs) yes, sir. Yes, sir. Los Originals taking over. Yeah, man. Real. You gotta have the vision, man. Yeah, as long as you got a vision and a dream, man. That's it. That's it. No telling, man. Man, Straight up, ain't nothing stop you. What's some of your uh, dream brands you want to collab with? Um, Ronnie, man. Ronnie Ronnie P. Yes, man. Ronnie. That's 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 top tier. Yeah, cool. Kai. Kai. Cool, Kai. Um, right now, man, I, I still want to do something with Nike, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, man, I love to do something with Nike. I think, I think that would, you know, it would be a disservice to anybody to uh, not list Nike on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, them some of the brands that that that, that man that I that I really rock with like that. Um, shit, a local brand too, man. Um, minutes fifty seven. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah Trent. Trent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Trent been doing this thing too. Man, Trent been doing it for me. He finna celebrate ten years, man. Word. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, that's what's Trent up. Trent been in the game for a minute, man. Yeah. So yeah, him like like somebody locally like that, man. I always want to do something with him, man. I might. Even though we got other good brands too. We got a lot of other good brands in Jacksonville too. But mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Me and Trent knew each other in high school. You know what I'm saying? Word. So, yeah, word. I remember he went to Wilson. Yeah, he went to Wilson too. I might yeah. be tripping. Like I feel like he was like one of the first ones locally with a brand. Probably, man, he probably was. I might be. I might. I man. don't want to. I don't want to be like, oh, the soldier boy. He the. I'm the first to do this. But I think he yeah. might. He got to be the first one. I think the. Yeah. Fir- I mean, I. I don't want to turn this into anything, but I know the first person I heard of was William Boston. William you know what Boston. I mean? oh, yeah, 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 yeah. William Boston is yeah. like legend in the city. You know what man. I mean? Just from having pushed his brand for years and years and yeah. years. Um, you know, much like yourself, he got his uh, shoes that he, he yeah, started doing yeah. as well. So, I mean, it's amazing to see what what you all have accomplished. You know yeah. what I'm saying? From a local uh, standpoint as well as from an inspirational standpoint, you Fair. know, but I don't use local to, to belittle or, or to keep you all um, uh, regional or anything of yeah. that sort, you know what I mean? But just saying it to say, from close proximity, you don't often think of, you know, you'll you'll find a brand that does inspire you in such a way, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and then to have such dope designs and things of that sort. So, well, go run. Oh, <laughs> you said that. You said I hit the wrong button, but you said that. Yeah, you said I that. definitely want to clap it up for y'all. You know you what I'm saying? So. And, I, and I can't even leave on William Boss now because he's like a mentor, man. Yeah, like, hey. I, I went to him with questions for real, like, man, hey, man, what, I need this, man. I need <laughs> this, man. And, he, and he's so helpful, man. That's a that's a dude of the people too, man. Like, man, William gonna help anybody, man. For sure. Anybody. And if y'all ain't familiar, tap in with him on Instagram. Definitely. Uh, he gives a lot of free game out. He he. I mean, just on Instagram alone, he talks a lot yes, about uh, the fashion and different ways you can uh, level up Definitely, entrepreneurship. Man. So definitely. Man, big shout out to William. Yeah, man, definitely. De- and it's good to know, like, it's people in Jacksonville like that. Cause, man, I feel like, like, on um, how we look at Atlanta, like, people like me got to go to Atlanta or uh, New York to go see fashion. I'm like, man, we Not really no want to start it here. So it's like, man, I feel like we we pioneering something right For now. For sure, you to definitely be honest, like, I feel like we the pioneers of fashion right now in Jacksonville. Cause it's growing. It's and starting I'm- to grow here. So. 
Man, we got so many different stuff, man. Like, man, it's 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 crazy stuff, man. Like, we got some of everything in Jacksonville right now, man. For sure. So and I'm going to also uh, salute y'all again just because I would say this. Jacksonville is is a huge city, one. That that goes without saying. Biggest city in the um, nation, of course. But as far as the people goes, it's still big enough to where brands can get lost within the city. Yeah. So for you all to be able to uh, establish such a name that does touch each side of the city, that resonates with so many people, mm-hmm. man, that's a major accomplishment. So yeah, yeah. again, man. Yeah, because this is um, just, in, just in my neighborhood alone, man, we different stuff. We got neighborhood royalty. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, shout yeah. out to E-Dub, oh, yeah, man. E-Dub, shout yeah. out to yeah, E-Dub, E-Dub, man. Yeah, neighborhood royalty. Um, and he doing um, his thing with it, man. Yeah, That's my yeah, dog. Yeah, it's a lot of man. It's a lot of different brands, man. A lot of different. Brands. Marcus White. Yeah, another Marcus Wilson. White. Yes, yeah, Marcus yes, White. Sir. That's another one. Yeah, That's another <laughs> White one, man. Coat. Yep, yep. So it's man, it's a lot of dope stuff, man. And for it's sure. all different too, man. That's man. what I like about it. I'm like, man, dang, like it's really different flavors in the city for, for real. Sure, for sure. There's different flavors out here. So man, I, I love it, man. I love it, man. Yeah, man. Like I say. I tip my hat to y'all. You said it best that y'all are pioneering something. You know what I mean? We love what y'all are doing. We ask that y'all keep it up. You know what I'm saying? Keep inspiring the city. Keep inspiring, you know, those outside of the city. Like you say, we want Jacksonville to be one of those hubs. So Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, the the youth definitely watching. And like you said it earlier, those like the generation before us, I don't think they really had nobody doing it like this. Oh, man. And we didn't have anybody that passed down the game. Exactly. Whether it was music, entertainment, fashion, we didn't have anyone that passed down the game. I feel like those that made it out of Jacksonville, and this ain't no disrespect to nobody, Mm -hmm. but those that came before us and really made it out of the city, stayed out of the city. Or they came back and just fucked with people in the city. It wasn't like there was an upbringing, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So we did see a, in my opinion, um, a large uh, gap of time to where, you know, we had prominent figures that could have made things happen. And then it seemed like a lot of these, um, you know, creative avenues just kind of fell silent for a while. Now we're seeing it rave, you know, uh, yeah. uh, back into the main front. But again, man, I, I salute y'all. Yeah, man. Appreciate cool. it. Appreciate it. It's a lot of work. Man. Yeah, for sure. It's work, man. But it's, it's, it's good work <laughs> yeah and it's i think uh, like amp said you know i personally never thought growing up i meet someone that made their own shoes yeah you yeah. know what i mean like that's not that's not something that we talk about that's not something that we see often you know what i mean yeah. so for you to be able to do it uh shout out to magnus is greater shout out to william boston yeah. you know what i mean to everybody that is doing it but to be able to see you one close hand you know know that you're in the city things like that major inspirational factors yeah. and i love that we got you on the show to talk about these things because for those of you all that are that are interested in doing it man take a lot of what he said to heart and 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 really find a way if you have any questions i'm sure you can reach out to him um and and it's a lot of people around you i'm sure you could reach out to but definitely yeah because i'm on man i'm on instagram and facebook man so facebook carlos foster on instagram 1989 underscore los underscore originals yes sir yeah yeah man and it sound cliche man like anything you want to do bro you can you can do it 100 percent, and that's what we trying to uh inspire here and motivate yeah that's why uh if you uh man me and my own homeboys man we call ourselves guys man but we don't just say that just to say that man we say that because um man, you made in the image of god 100%. so it's in you it's in he is you. i and i am he yes it's in you man so you know what i'm saying you are you a god and a goddess man so you know what i'm saying you create that's yeah. what guys do you create man and that's what we do you know man so yeah, man. Believe in yourself and man, create something. At the end of the day, create something. Amen. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so Los, man, you're a family man. How is it balancing the clothing line and family life? Oh man. <laughs> it's great. You see, I got my daughter over there with me right yes, now. Sir. Man. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. She, nah, I doubt. <laughs> but yeah, she caught so much. She caught the good parts. She yeah, yeah. Good parts, though. Yeah, I got the um. Yeah, she was paying attention. Heavy. I seen her over there. Yeah, yeah. She was locked in. She was locked hey, in. And she got it in on this NBA jail. Oh too, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And we got to run it back too, though, man. Oh, oh yeah, say yeah, less. Yeah. Y'all know I'm undefeated. Just yeah. <laughs> but family, uh, but family play a big part of man. Um, a big part of everything because that's that's a real lifestyle for me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So you know what I'm saying? They know when they wake up, they gonna see daddy. You know what I'm saying? So 
Man, and I just want them to see, man, like, chase your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like, daddy was doing it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I tell them all the time, man, this is what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? This is a passion that, that you know what I'm saying, I, I, I live for a minute. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I had priorities with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With just taking care of family and, you know what I'm saying, doing what I got to do because that's an everyday thing. So right. that's something I take to heart for real. So, um, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's, it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't easy. But, you know, you put God first and you got to balance stuff out. You just gotta balance stuff out, man, because it's gonna come with trials and tribulations, man. Wow. They're trying to balance <laughs> say, yeah. business and family, man. Because guess what, man? Some days, man, shit, that business gonna it's gonna overpower some days. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, some days yeah. you gotta focus on that business. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because it's bringing in money, mm-hmm. bringing in money that's that's finna support your family. So straight up, you know what I'm saying? So and some, I could imagine it's vice versa too. Yeah, vice versa. <laughs> so some days you gotta, man, you gotta be with the family. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't finna get that time back. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? You don't want to lose that time focused on business so much, man. You don't miss out on your kids. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. stay locked in with your kids too. So it's all about balance, man. For it's sure. It's all about balance, man. So it ain't an easy thing, but it's something life teaching me too. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to sit up here and tell you it's easy. You know what I'm saying? Because I done took, like you say, man, I done took losses doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it come with a lot, man. Mm-hmm. It's dope that you learned that because a lot of people that are like, uh, real successful, they ask them, like, what's their biggest regrets? And like all the time, they be like, oh, man, I ain't spending enough time with a certain family member. I ain't spending enough time with my friends. I ain't focused on myself. I put too much time into the business. Like, I'm a billionaire now. Like, I got all the money I want, but I didn't... I didn't put enough time into myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it can be like that because you can get locked in. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, you can get locked <laughs> in. That's a good, yeah. that's a good ass <laughs> but, Hey, you get locked in, man. You don't see nothing else, man. Especially when you start seeing real money. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sir. When you start seeing some real money, man. Hell yeah. And you get locked in, man. You don't forget about a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you want to keep that balance and stay humble. Know what I'm saying? Stay grounded and know what I'm saying? Get yourself back together. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get yourself back together. So don't lose, don't lose focus of that. Now you can't lose focus of family. That's real. Don't ever lose focus of family, because that's what's gonna be there when it's gone. You know what I'm saying? When up. it's gone, I have it. If you make it, you make it or not. Know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They was there before that. So yeah, don't, don't yeah, don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight of that ever. One hundred percent. All right, I got one more. You got any more questions for Lucy? Man, I think I've asked everything. <laughs> <It's like> this, <laughs> man. I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna have, before I get my last question, it's been an amazing episode, 100%, man. One hundred percent, Los. How many interviews you did, Los? Man, I never did an interview, man. Hey, man, you handled. You, you came to the, you came so to the right yeah. place, my brother. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, and of man. course, man, it's so good. You gonna have? We definitely have to have you come back, man. Oh, yeah. Rock sure. with us some oh, more. Yeah. Hit it up. Definitely All right, back, so man. I'm gonna end it with this. And I mean, it's a cliche question, but I feel like it's always a good question. Where do you see yourself with your brand in the next five years? Man, oh, I think I'm gonna have a team, man. That's hey, good. Right, right now, right now, man, I'm a one man band. Like, you, I know if you look on Instagram, you be like, man, dang, he a model too. He model stuff, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people like, dang, but he a model. Yeah. Like, no, nah, man, it's just I'm a one man band right now. So I, I, I know definitely in five years, man. More merch, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? More merch, and uh, man, I'll probably have a team by then, man. Hopefully, I got a team. For you know sure. I'm saying to, to balance this stuff out, cause man, I do a lot, man. Yeah, I, I yeah. do a lot. When you doing it all by yourself, man, it, man, <laughs> it ain't it ain't never enough time in a day. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, man, no. So hopefully, man, man, I learn more, learn more of the business side too, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can get all that stuff, you don't know that business side, man. man. It, it ain't finna. Your foundation ain't finna. You ain't really finna go to. You ain't even to do too much. Sure, Straight so up. Five years, man. I see, man. More merch, man. Better, man. More designs. Better stuff coming, man. Yeah, better stuff coming, man. I don't want to give y'all too much yet, man. I don't want to spoil nothing. <laughs> right. I don't want to spoil nothing, man. Hey, man, so, you got a Maybach on the way or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to spoil nothing. <laughs> yeah, man. He said, I done already signed a major deal. I'm just waiting, you know, to hire my help now. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, I see it in your future, man. I see brand yeah, nah, deals, all sure. that, man. For yeah. sure. You on the right track, man. I appreciate it, y'all, man. I appreciate sure. it. I ain't a psychic, but, man, I keep seeing store. I think you gonna get a store, man. Hey, man. Hey, it hey. might be. It might be in the car soon. Hey, hey, man. You know, hey, God, hey, God working, man. That's all Straight I'm gonna up. tell you, man. God what, working. What DJ Keller said, God did. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, God did. God, <laughs> hey, man, believe in me, man. Straight up, Damn straight believe up. Believe in me. Yeah, man. believe. So I still don't believe, man. To, hey, to, look. to, to hey, man. Hey, hey till it go, man. man. Wait, till wait, it go. You don't. You ain't gonna believe at this point. 
sleep. You gonna stay sleep forever. Mm. Straight up. Straight you nah, go, nah, man. nah. You gonna be one of them mad motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> two yeah. years from now, talk about man. I could have been right on his team. Yeah, or <laughs> yeah. But the one, the ones who know, man, they know, man. Mm-hmm. They know, man. Like, like it's, it's crazy, man. Cause uh, man, I was talking to um one one dude who buy merch from me, man, and um he was like, man. I like man, I ain't see you uh, wear like you said you was gonna wear. He like man, you know what cause man, I put it up, man. I'm collecting it, bro. <laughs> that's like, real. Man, I'm collecting. I ain't that's even taking real, it out bro. the rap, man. I said, boy, that's what's up, boy. That's, that's real. That's, no, that's, that's something that's something I would do, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. For real, so, yeah, man. So yeah, God, God got it. He, he got something planned for me, man. So you know, I'm gonna just sit back and keep working, man. That's it. Keep that's working. it, man. Keep grinding. That's all I can do, man. Yeah, I'm gonna yes, grind. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna grind because it's gonna get done. For sure. All right, man. Oh, Joe, you say you ain't got no more questions, but Lowe's, man, we're gonna have to. And I appreciate y'all, man. Definitely gonna have to sit, down, gonna gonna have sit to have down, down with you again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, for well, sure. you might be sitting down all there soon. So, hey, for real, <laughs> hey, for <laughs> real. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man, for the yes, visit, sir. man. Y'all got nah, man, man. Y'all got this stuff set up so so raw, man. We appreciate that for sure. Yeah, man, the feel of this and everything, man. I just knew it was gonna be on point, man. Yes, yeah. sir. I yes, knew sir. it was gonna be on point, man. Hey, man, you brought the great energy. The least we could do is uh, you know, match it with the vibes. For sure, for sure. Definitely brought the vibes, man. Hey, man, we're gonna stamp it, man. We the Hottest podcast in the city. Man, that goes hottest, without saying. Hottest designer in the city. Goes without saying. Yeah, we had to collab and <laughs> drop a classic. <laughs> Bit fast. It's definitely going in the books, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, it's definitely going in the books till next time, man. Yes, sir. Lose, man. Go we ahead, we call that the viral camera, man. Look into that camera. <laughs> Uh, drop all your tags, all your social medias, everything where they can hey, find you. Hey, man, Facebook, Carlos Foster. Y'all write that down, man, on Instagram, 1989 underscore Los underscore Originals, man. All y'all can go to Mansa Los, you know what I'm saying? That's my personal Instagram. If y'all want to hit me up personal, man, y'all can hit me up in my DMs. Man, I want to put my number on here, but that's crucial. <laughs> yeah. I, ain't gonna, I ain't finna do all that, man. Yeah, uh, don't do that, man. Yeah, we get, we get yeah, like crucial. 20K episodes. Yeah, man. Well. Blow your phone up. But yeah, man. Y'all tap in, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all can write me on anything, man. I'm going to respond back, man. I love the people, man. I love talking to people. I love meeting people. I love the communication, man. And that's it, man. Hey man, that's it. Yes, sir. Classic episode, man. man. So hey, where's your website? Let them know your oh, website. Oh yeah, gotta get y'all the website, Come man. Eighty nine losoriginals dot com. Can't y'all, miss that. Hey, Can't as soon that. as you close out this, uh, matter of fact. Apple got the update. You can watch the uh the video while you surf on the web and all kinds of shit. Go ahead and double box it up. Go ahead and check out 1989losoriginals.com. Get you a, a, a shirt, some socks. Yeah, yeah. Pants. Yeah, it's some new and stuff when coming, shoes man. Come, there's some new stuff coming, You man. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's new stuff coming, Go man. Go ahead and save it to your favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When are those sneakers dropping, too? Man, if you, they if you on know. the way, man. They Don't on the way. Worry. We working right now because I'm gonna make sure they good for y'all, man. Yes, sir. Hey, so y'all got a real sneak peek today, man. Y'all got a real deal sneak peek, man. So now when they drop, you got to give us the uh, heads up so we could we could go ahead and be that first purchase. Hey, you know what sure, I mean? For like, sure. <laughs> Definitely having another pop up too in the future, man. So, yes, sir. Yeah, y'all just man, y'all man, tap in, man. Y'all Hell follow yeah. that, man, because y'all y'all don't want to miss this stuff, man. Hell so yeah. it's gonna happen, man. So y'all tap in and. Stay locked in. Stay locked in, man. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, it's been another episode of Random Mason Podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Random Mason Podcast, Instagram, REO Podcast. And most important, the Patreon. If you want these episodes early, patreon.com slash REO Podcast. Jump in one of those tiers, get bonus episodes. Me and Joe be dropping a ton of bonus episodes on y'all. If y'all want to tap into the exclusiveness, Patreon.com slash REO Podcast. And most important, salute to Spotify. Yes, sir. Go on, go on our uh, Spotify page, Random X Podcast. Give us five stars. Run it up. Run it up for them boys, man. Yeah. Yeah. It was official, man. Low said he, uh, he a Bulls fan. So, you know, me and El, we like Jordan and Pippen in this shit, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Sure, Y'all sure. tap in, you know what I mean? For Lock sure. in on everything. You don't want to You don't want to miss yet. And these boys dropping 30 and 30, man. <laughs> these boys terrorizing right now, man. Yes, uh, Y'all boys tap in, man. Follow them boys, man. Tap in, man. There's something special going on right now, man. Y'all be a part of it. For real. Oh, uh, yeah, man. With all that said, we out.